Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be discussing drug therapeutic index. I love this topic. Sometimes it gets confusing for some people. So I think I could use a few minutes to break this down to the easiest possible way for you to understand. So make sure to stick around. Let's begin. So a drug's therapeutic index is a ratio that compares the blood concentration at which the drug is toxic and the concentration of the drug when it's effective. Let's look at this differently for the visual learners. So let's take a look at this diagram here. On the x-axis, we have the time, but don't focus too much on the time. On the y-axis, we have the plasma concentration. Now, this whole thing is very similar to the story of Goldilocks and the uh, three bears. She went into their home and she tasted the porridge. And then she was like, this one is too sweet. And then she tasted another one and she said, this one is too salty. And then she tasted the last one and she said, this one is just right. So in this case, the red zone is too much. There's a lot of drug in your blood, right? So it's doing what it's supposed to do, but it's overdoing it to the point where you're experiencing a lot of side effects. And the yellow zone is too little. You don't have enough drug in your blood. So it's not doing what it's supposed to do and it's not causing any side effects. And then you have the green zone, which is just right. So this is where you want to be. And this is what's known as the therapeutic index. So now that we understand what the therapeutic index is, I think it's the perfect time to learn about what it means to have a wide therapeutic index and a narrow. So as you can see for the wide, there's a huge gap right between the yellow and the red zone. So there's a huge chance that when you take this medication, you will land into the green zone. So you will not experience any side effects because it's too much and the drug will not be less effective. And then you have the narrow therapeutic index. So as you can see, it's a very small gap and the yellow and red zone are pretty close. So this is why you wanna be very careful with these medications. You wanna dose them appropriately to make sure they don't move into either zones. And this is why we monitor these drugs also. So let's take a look at some examples of narrow therapeutic index drugs. So first we have warfarin, a very common drug. So warfarin is a little bit different because we actually monitor something else in order to determine if it's in the right zone, if it's in the green zone. So we don't check the drug levels of warfarin directly. And then we have the others where we check the drug levels directly from the blood. Also keep in mind that these drugs are narrow therapeutic index drugs because like when they reach that red zone, they cause pretty serious side effects and complications, okay? So it's not like they cause a headache or something. They cause really bad complications and sometimes that will lead to fatalities. So once again, we have to monitor them closely. So so what is your job as a pharmacist? You have to make sure that the medications that require levels to be monitored, we obtain these levels at the right time. Sometimes you have to draw the blood levels after a dose or sometimes before. So as a pharmacist, you have to make sure it's done correctly. Next, daily monitoring of these patients. So whether the patient is in the therapeutic range or not, always keep your eye on these patients because remember, any shift in the doses or any physiological changes or whatever it is, or even drug interactions can cause it to move to the other zone. And we definitely don't want that. And lastly, communicate. I can't stress this enough. You'll be dealing with physicians. You'll be dealing with nurses and other members of the healthcare team. So just make sure you communicate effectively. Sometimes you may make an intervention and then you call the unit to speak with the physicians and they're not available and you have to endorse it to a nurse or something. Just make sure that message reaches the physician and the communication is effective and they're getting levels when they need to. And that would be the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you learned something. As always, if this video was helpful in any way possible, please hit the like button. It costs a zero dollars to do this. Help this video reach more people. Subscribe and leave a comment down below. Also follow me on my Instagram at Pharmacist Academy. Thank you for watching this video and take care.